Hello my beautiful Geminis and happy birthday for May heading into June. This is your first reading, love reading for the month of May. There will be an extended so check out the description box for those of you who would like me to go into depth. Um, let's get straight onto your reading. I feel like a lot of you heading into May you're going to be suffering from a lot of doubts. I feel like a lot of you are worried about your person taking things to the next level. Many of you will be waiting on a deeper level of commitment, whether that's moving in with each other, whether that's engagement. Um, look, this is you. We've got second guessing and we have a lack of confidence. These two energies were being um, emphasized by the Nine of Swords, which many of you will already know. This is a card about sleepless nights, restlessness, being all up in your head, um, being plagued by doubt, okay, you know, obsessing over something. So that's where you're at. And um, we do have a card here that's talking about feeling lost is what I'm getting from this card here. You can see feeling lost in the middle. When I asked Spirit, you know, what are you doubting? What are you lacking confidence about? Sure enough, the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles came out. So these are both marriage cards. These are both cards about, you know, the long-term stability of a relationship. You know, the Four of Pentacles do does talk about stability. It talks about the foundations. Um, it talks about celebration. So, you know, obviously moving in with each other, taking that next step, getting engaged, that's cause for celebration. And the Ten of Pentacles talks about um, stability, long-term security, abundance, prosperity, property, you know, real estate. So um, many of you will be wanting to um, to move in because I was seeing either an engagement ring or keys. So keys would obviously talk about moving in with each other. Okay. So let's have a look at your person then. Um, in the extended, we'll have a look at, you know, detailed advice, what you should do. Um, and what's coming up in this connection, all right? So just um, bear that in mind. But let's have a look at your person. Who is Gemini dealing with in May 2021, please? Who is Gemini dealing with in love in May 2021? Um, I'm hearing that you just need to be patient. Um, yeah, I don't know why you're kind of feeling like your time is running out, but um, patience is required is what I'm hearing for you, Gemini, okay? Who is Gemini dealing with, please, in May 2021 in love, please? Angels and Spirit, show me clearly. Who is this other person? Yeah, so they're not coming through with some kind of romantic gesture or, or offer that you have been anticipating. Um, we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse next to the Six of Wands. I'm getting that um, you feel this person isn't really uh, making you a priority at the moment. They're kind of scattered they've got other priorities that are taking precedence over you um, you know because this is a card about choices and options um, and this is a card about praise admiration um, attention so I feel like you're not um, feeling like a priority with this person at this point in time they're probably focused on other goals other accomplishments um, and they're coming across as a little bit cold and distant. We have the King of Cups in the reverse. So they could be a little bit detached and emotionally unavailable right now. Now we've got Leo energy here. We also have Pisces. Um, yeah, so I'm clearly seeing that it's not the right time. And that's why I'm hearing that Spirit wants you to be patient. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So it's not quite time for this offer this promise that you've been waiting for we have the ace of pentacles in the reverse this is showing me that this person isn't you know coming with coming at you with this thing that you've been expecting there is a level of resistance okay we have the seven of wands which talks about defensiveness someone keeping you at bay keeping you at arm's length so let's have a look at um what why why are they being defensive 
Why are they keeping you at arm's length? Why aren't they offering you this Ace of Pentacles? Angels and Spirit, why is this person not offering Gemini what they were hoping for? Um, they're in contemplation mode. Maybe they just need some time. Um, maybe they just need some time out. Maybe they just need to heal. You know, the Four of Swords talks about recovery, solitude, thinking, taking some time out to think. So um, maybe they haven't made a decision yet. I keep seeing this Six of Cups in the reverse. So there's something from the past that's kind of eating away at them or they're kind of dwelling on um, an unpleasant memory. I'm going to see what this might be. What is this person thinking about? What is Gemini's person thinking about, please? What is this person thinking about? keep seeing this six of wands so they want victory they want success in something maybe they just feel like if they rush into this thing if they offer you what you want you know now then there's a risk of failure clarify the six of wands please angels and spirit or maybe they just want to kick a goal before hmm. clarify why is this person delaying this promise or this gesture this offer this ace of pentacles what is the reason for the delay the strength in the reverse okay a lack of courage okay that's what i'm getting there we have the sun card in the reverse and the Page of Swords in the reverse. They're waiting for your birthday, possibly. Okay, because, you know, Sun is in Gemini in the month of May. And when it's in the reverse, it's like they, they want, I, I feel like it's going to come about on your birthday. They're waiting for your birthday. Um, we've got the Page of Swords, which talks about curiosity. So they're kind of observing the, they're reading the room. They're watching and waiting is what I'm getting. Very interesting. Um, I'm going to do the Romance Angels. I haven't used this deck for a while. So I just, I'm being drawn to it for some reason for you, Gemini. What is coming up for Gemini in this connection? Something from the past is kind of holding them back. We have past life relationship. But remember we saw the Six of Cups in the reverse. Perhaps um, they're worried about repeating past mistakes. You know, maybe in the past they moved in with someone and it didn't work out very well. Maybe they proposed to someone in the past and the engagement failed or the marriage failed. So they don't want to repeat that again. That's what I'm getting, especially with the Six of Wands. You know, they want success this time around. And the Strength card in the reverse. taking this whole um, thing personally. You're wondering why they're not coming through with this offer. You're doubting yourself. You're second guessing the connection. But Spirit is saying it's not about you. Okay, don't doubt yourself. You are lovable. Um, this person wants to express 
they want to make this romantic gesture. I'm sorry about the noise. I'm going to press pause. Sorry guys, I just, I have these really pesky bikes that do this to me all the time. So they want to make this romantic gesture, but the very next card is worth waiting for. Um, so they're going to come through. You're just going to need to be patient, okay? Um, I'm going to continue in the extended. I'll see you guys there. Um, bye.